We're in Phoenix, Arizona, a part of town that you might call the Cadaver District. This area is home to several businesses that want your body after you die. One of them, Research for Life, is owned by Garland Shreves, who supplies body parts to companies for medical education and research. People aren't asking necessarily for a whole body. Usually they're just asking for a part of the body. And you know, and there are some in the industry that are not in the tissue bank industry that scowl at that pro that, that concept, that how, how dare you cut up the deceased. Shreves wants people to see the legitimate nature of this work after two recent King 5 investigations exposed a dark side. More than two dozen body parts dumped in the Arizona desert have been traced back to former Seattle body broker Walter Mitchell. You know, yeah, you do. You trust them to, to take your loved one and treat them with respect, and that's not at all what happened. And a Las Vegas body broker supplied the cadaver for this public autopsy in October, recorded by our hidden camera. Spectators paid up to $500 a seat. We uncovered that organizers did not have consent from the 98-year-old donor's family. Our company would never have done that. I can't imagine that any of the accredited tissue banks in this country would have vetted that individual uh, to have been an appropriate use of that donor. Tonight, a tour that leaves no door unopened and an explanation of how these businesses may be making your life better and healthier on King 5 News at 6.30 and 11. I'm Chris Ingalls in the King 5 Newsroom.